If you've ever been slowed down by pip installs or confused by juggling Venv and pip tools, there's a better way. In this video, you'll see how UV can replace pip and Venv, manage your dependencies, run your code, and best of all, no more fiddling with activating environments. But the real surprise? UV makes all of this simpler and much, much faster. So let's get it installed and take it for a spin. Installing UV is easy. The recommended way is with curl. If you run UV in this terminal, you may run into the issue that it can't find the command. We'll source the .bash RC file so that this terminal can see it. New terminals will see it automatically. Now we can run UV to make sure it works. As usual, we can use the help switch to see the available commands. UV is built by Astral, the same team behind Rough, the lightning-fast Python linter. It's written in Rust which is one reason that it's so quick. It's a full feature package manager with virtual environment support built in. So why another tool? Here are the pain points UV is designed to solve. PIP can be slow, especially when you're installing or upgrading dependencies. Virtual environments work, but remembering directories and where to activate and deactivate them is error prone. Manually keeping track of dependencies is a lot of work and resolving dependencies can sometimes be difficult. Going from development to production packaging is just missing. UV fixes all of this. It's fast, uses a global cache so installs are instant, and manages everything in one tool. To start a new project, just run UV init, followed by the name of your project. I'll call this one Kanga. Now we'll switch over to that directory and take a look at the files that UV generates. You can see that UV creates a Git Ready repository with a hello world main.py file. There's also a repository readme markdown file. The .python-version file contains the version of Python to use with the virtual environment. You can set this at create time or afterwards. The pyproject.toml file is the central project manifest. It tells UV and other Python tools your project's name, settings, and which dependencies to install. To run a Python script, type uv run and the name of the file. UV creates a virtual environment in the .venv directory, resolves the version of Python to use, and then runs the file. In this case, the script prints hello world to the terminal. You can see the virtual environment directory that UV created here. As long as you're inside a UV created project folder, you don't have to activate or deactivate the virtual environment. UV automatically handles that for you. The uv.lock file is UV's lockbook. It records the exact versions of every dependency, so rerunning or syncing the project always gives you the same environment. The terminal shows the commands, but to make this easier to follow, I'll open the project in VS Code and explore the files there. Let's open up a terminal. Notice that VS Code sources the virtual environment. To add a dependency, we type uv add and the name of the package. In this case, we're adding NumPy. Dependencies get resolved, and the appropriate packages are downloaded and installed. This is surprisingly fast when compared to pip. Let's open up pyproject.toml. You can see that it added NumPy and the version to the dependency list. We'll add fast API. The speed may startle you the first time you see it. Let's do a quick speed comparison. UV is on the left, pip on the right, ready, go. I'm not an expert or anything, but UV feels somewhat faster. Removing a dependency is just as easy. Type UV remove and the name of the package. By adding the dev flag, I'm telling UV this dependency is just for development, like testing or linting, so it won't be installed in production. Let's write a simple application that reads a web page and shows the first 200 lines on the console. We use get from the request package to grab the web page and then print it out. Let's add the request package to the dependencies. Now we run it. You would think a professional programmer with decades of experience would know to save their file after modification. You would be wrong. 
I'll save the script and run it again. The output is even less exciting than Hello World, but appears to work correctly. Like other Python virtual environments, you can choose different versions of Python based on your needs. Use UV Python list to show the available versions. Let's say we want to use version 3.12. First, we install the Python version, and then we pin it so that our project uses it. Now, when we look in Python dash version, we see the new Python version. The next time we run UV, it adjusts the virtual environment to reflect the change. UV tree will show you all of the installed dependencies. If I delete the virtual environment folder, the project loses its virtual environment. But with one command, UV sync, UV rebuilds it exactly as before, using the lock file to ensure all the same dependencies are installed. That's the guarantee of reproducibility. Anyone who clones your repo can run the same command and get the exact same environment. Now let's bring an existing project into UV. Camera Caps is a pretty typical small project. Let's clone it. We need to install some dependencies. We'll install the video for Linux system libraries. We'll open the project in VS Code. Since we're already inside an existing Python project, all we need to do is run UV in it. That brings in UV's project scaffolding. This project has a requirements.txt file, which makes it easy to add as a UV project dependency. There's one more dependency, PyQt5 and the Python bindings. These are installed as system packages using apt install. With everything installed, let's run the application. And to no one's surprise, it no worky. The short answer is that GI is part of the PyQt package we install at a system level. The virtual environment cannot see system level packages by default. Let's delete the current virtual environment and recreate it so that it has access to system-level Python packages. Let's run it again, this time for sure. And there's our app. All is good in the world. UV can also run tools directly with UVX. Here I'm using Rough, a linting and code formatting tool, to check this project without installing it into my environment. It also supports Python version management, workspaces for multi-project repos, publishing to PyPy, integrates with GitHub, and supports Docker workflows. We've only scratched the surface, but even at the basics, you now have a faster, simpler, and more reliable way to manage Python projects. With UV, you get speed, simplicity, and reliability. Start with UV init, add or remove packages, explore with UV tree, run your code without activating environments, and sync anywhere with UV sync. Remember those pain points? Slow pip installs, always having to activate virtual environments, and juggling too many tools. UV eliminates all of that in one fast, modern package manager. It's faster than pip, simpler than juggling multiple tools, and reproducible by design. If you liked the video, give a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.